Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to be shining light on the problems appertaining to being overweight or obese in social circles. So, why is it deemed to be problematic to be overweight or obese in social circles? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Lamentably, much of my dismay, much of my consternation, much of my chagrin, much of my agony, much of my grief, and much of my distress, people exhibit contemptuous, derisive, hostile, malicious, malevolent, malign, cunning, conniving, unvindicated, unwarranted, ill-willed, behaviors towards others. People should demonstrate unrequited kindness to everyone they encounter. They should be hospitable, respectable, compassionate, empathetic, and sympathetic to everyone they encounter. They should not be callous, apathetic, nor hostile to anyone. So, when you are overweight or obese in social circles, you're unfortunately all the more poised, all the more primed, and all the more apt to be a target for ridicule by others, even though it is unequivocally unwarranted, unvindicated, and uncalled for. It is completely needless. However, people have no qualms, no compunction, no misgivings about exuding contemptible, derisive behaviors. It is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, you're more prone to being demeaned, besmirched, derided, ridiculed, mocked, berated, and criticized by others if you are obese or overweight. It is tragic, it is calamitous, and it is unfortunate. It is completely unwarranted, unvindicated, and needless, but it is what it is. You cannot control how other people transgress against you. So, fortunately, you can be a pioneer of your own destiny and shed excess body fat so that you could attain a healthy BMI above 18.5. You are at liberty to embrace health optimization measures if you so choose to do so. You ideally should do everything in your purview to attain robust, vigorous, stellar, optimal health. You should not shirk on optimizing your health. You want to be able to maximize your longevity as well as be imbued with unalloyed energy and be empowered to be able to thrust your life into a forward moving trajectory. You do not want your health to wane or atrophy. You do not want your 78 organs to become dysfunctional. You do not want your excess body fat to bog you down. You do not want it to be your albatross. You do not want it to be an impediment in your life. You do not want it to be an onerous burden in your life. You do not want it to inflame your joints. You do not want it to induce adverse, deleterious, direful, calamitous health issues, nor render you more prone to contracting a perilous chronic disease. So, if you are overweight or obese, and if you partake in socializing, if you are a part of ample social circles, you're more prone, you're more vulnerable, you're more susceptible to being a target for ridicule by others, even though their transgressions against you are unvindicated and unwarranted. People should demonstrate unrequited kindness towards one another, but lamentably, that's not the world we live in. This world is in dire need of more compassion, more kindness, more empathy, more sympathy, and more respectfulness 
towards others. People should be respectable towards others. They should be hospitable. They should be kind. They should be friendly. They should be cordial. So, do not depend on people to change their behaviors. If someone is exhibiting contemptible, derisive behaviors as an adult, if someone is malicious as an adult, their behaviors are pretty much ingrained in the chasms of their mind, metaphorically speaking, and they're inapt to modulate their behaviors. However, you do not have to follow suit of their actions. Just because someone mistreats you does not mean that you ever need to mistreat someone. Be exemplary, be a role model, be inspirational to others. Be someone who other people want to aspire to be. And demonstrate unrecutted kindness towards everyone, irrespective of how they mistreat you. If you set example, if you set force the president, hopefully they will follow suit of your exemplary behavior and consider modulating their behaviors going forward. You do not need to stoop to their level. You can rise above others if you so choose to do so. You can be a pioneer of your own destiny. You do not have to be hostile towards others. You can be loving, kind, and empathetic towards others. And you can be respectable towards others. You do not need to sass others. So, people should not render anyone a target for ridicule nor obese. I meant to say people should not render any human being or animal a target for ridicule nor mockery. nor insults, but unfortunately, it is what it is. So, I hope that you deem this video to be insightful and enthralling. Just because you're overweight or obese does not mean that they have cause to exhibit derisive behaviors against you. However, you cannot control other people's actions, so you need to develop a thick skin and just accept other people for who they are. Maybe one day they can refine their behaviors and can become upstanding if they so choose to do so. Once again, I hope that you found this video to be Insightful, enthralling, captivating, mesmerizing, riveting, and of course, informative. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.